the Monday night East Coast tournament. This must be what goes on and why it takes six hours. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I haven't been doing it. Because it's region locked. I'm not allowed in. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, that's a bummer. Especially yeah, when, like, we're... we're on the mic. Yeah. Especially when we're having, like, a monthly that's not region locked. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could probably make a fake Smash GG account. True. And just join, but I, I don't know if I, if I really care enough. There's so many tournaments happening in the moment. Yeah, I think some of them are gonna turn into like bi-weeklies and monthlies, so there won't be as many like every week. That's probably a good thing. We might be subject yeah. to burnout. Yeah. I eventually. totally agree. I think it was good at first to get more people into netplay. Yeah. But now that, like, that seed has been sown, it can kind of, like, calm down a little bit. So, like, this week, I played last night in the uh, Michigan Weekly. Tonight, I'm playing in this remix tournament. And then tomorrow and Sunday, we've got the YOLO and boss battle. Yeah. And, and, and like, and then on Monday, there's going to be another, you know, East Coast oh, yeah. Weekly. Right. But, like, I think Jaime said he wanted to turn this into a bi-weekly. Yeah, that might be good. And, um, I mean, monthlies are monthlies. Who knows if they'll even happen every month. There was already a one-week gap, I think, between the first and the second. Uh, of high maze? That play tournament, yeah. Really? I don't know why I thought they were back-to-back. -back. There was one that he missed, but then I think this... There was one last week, and now there's this one tonight. You can you can blame Soto Street. Don't that, don't blame me. Oh yeah, we're playing now. I got so used to not watching gameplay. <laughs> and Ganondorf is down three stocks. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of, a problem a lot of people have when they first start playing Ganon is they they try and play it like Falcon. Yeah, he's got some similar stuff to Falcon, but you have to play it a lot differently. Yeah, especially off of a grab like. You can't just do up airs and stuff. It doesn't really work that way. In in, in like the fast faller matchups, you can, but definitely yeah. not against Pika. You also can't like, like it's it's really hard to like jump up air f and then falling up air follow up. It's it's more just like repeated short hop up airs. The way that you play neutral uh, with Ganondorf is a lot different as well. Nice using the reach on the up air there, doing like short hop up air just to reach the top flat and pressure Pikachu. That's a really good use of like Ganondorf's longer range. But uh, I think with Ganondorf neutral, you want to like do a lot more short hop because he's got just an insanely good short hop and his back air has this huge reach. So you can be really safe just doing short hop back airs. And Does his back air corners. reach much further than Falcon? Uh, it reaches a bit further just due to his larger frame. I don't okay. think the boxes are any bigger, but it does have more reach than Falcon's. And his short hop is like better than Falcon's, I think, or close to Falcon's. CTG is petting Bert so much. It, it feels to me like his, uh, I think his short hop might last a little bit longer than Falcon's, but it's a lot more lower to the ground through the duration, so you can throw out those forwarders and backers and really cover a lot of space. He's also got, uh, if you do like an instant double jump, then he'll perfect land on the side platform. And that can be really good and neutral to move around with that. I don't see a lot of Ganondorfs using that yet. Hmm. But I think it'll become uh, more of a mainstay in Ganondorf play over time. Because it is, it's it's like Link's perfect land, where you just double jump on the first possible frame. Hmm. And you can also do it if you like run off the ledge and immediately double jump. Then you'll perfect land on side plot. Dude, Gan the hitbox on Ganon's forward air is kind of crazy too. It's really big. Like, yeah. look at it. Like, you know, everyone should go look at it in hitbox mode. It's huge. <laughs> and it, it covers like an arc around his head too. Yeah. It kind of it kind of covers like the same space that a Falcon up air would cover, but just in reverse, yeah. starting like <laughs> back to front. Well, his down air is just as bad as Falcon's. Yeah, his his down air hitbox. It actually, like, it's the same size as Falcon's, but it feels a lot harder to hit just because he's, like, larger. I think maybe that one should be a bit bigger. It's also because it doesn't have as long a duration as Falcon's. So oh, overall, okay. it just that it feels I didn't like know. a lot more... 
It feels a lot more difficult to land a Ganondorf down there, I think. Okay, Jaime said he thinks he can play now, but he might get a call mid-game, so I'm gonna go try to play with him. Sweet. Uh, I'll be back afterwards. Yes, I mean, CCG, you, you're always going to be the conductor until someone else starts it. You will, you'll always have that until the next hype train. Maybe next time. I feel like uh, people don't realize how good Ganon's down B is. It definitely should get used more. Uh, especially now that the, the knockback angle got changed. You can take stocks pretty early with it. It's my, uh, it's my public service announcement. <laughs> 